Old Norse, an introductory overview. This is a text in Old Norse, also known as Old Icelandic, sometimes just called Norse or Icelandic, uh, also known as uh, Norint or something like that in, in the Nordic languages, and uh, to be technical, really Old West Norse. This is the fourth older Germanic language we have looked at together. First, uh, we looked at Gothic, which is of interest primarily of philological uh, on philological grounds because this is the oldest Germanic language that we have texts for overall. This is a fourth century text and it's the only East Germanic language that we know about. Um, and then we looked at this text in Old English, which is of philological interest because uh, obviously it is the uh, direct ancestor of the language we're speaking right now, of, of modern English, and as its uh, alternate name, Anglo-Saxon, shows a Saxon, Old Saxon, which we didn't look at, being the paradigmatic Old uh, Low Germanic language at this undifferentiated state of uh, its development. This can stand for uh, a good uh, example of what the Low Germanic languages looked at in, in their oldest form. And uh, then we looked at this text last time in Old High German, which is of uh, obviously the uh, direct ancestor of modern German and of interest uh, philologically for that reason, and also uh, because, uh, well, last time the books I showed at the end of that video uh, contain pretty much all that there is to read in Old High German. Old English has more uh, material to look at would keep you engaged. It's more of a literary language. But this language here, Old Norse, uh, is the richest language of the four that we've looked at thus, thus far. It's, it's a classical language. There's an incredible amount of material to read in it. But uh, even though it's called Old Norse generally, um, most of the material that uh, you would read in it is really from the 12th and 13th centuries. That's the heyday of the High Middle Ages, and we will look at Middle High German and, and Middle English, and in a certain sense, Icelandic uh, parallels those languages, but it also parallels um, the this language here that we looked at. Uh, this is Modern Icelandic. Again, this is the text that we looked at uh, for that, and uh, Old Norse is of particular interest because of uh, all the Germanic languages. It's the one that has changed least over the course of its uh, history. Diachronically, it's pretty much the same language as what we are looking at right here. This was a text about Eyjus Saga, and this, again, to refresh your memories, is the text that we looked at for New Norse, the version of Norwegian that is uh, taken from the Western dialects of Norway, and uh, for which Old Norse, West Norse, is the uh, direct ancestor. And this language here then, this New Norse, is pretty much a modernization of Old Norse. And here's the same text again. This is the beginning of Eil Saga, one of the uh, classic sagas of the Icelanders. And here is that text now uh, that you can look at in the original. This is the Old Next, uh, Old Norse uh, text for that. Um, since we already did a word-for-word -word translation of that, let me uh, push this up here, and um, I'll begin here where I left off with the uh, the New Norse version of this, um, reading and doing a word-for-word -word translation as as I go. Uh, as I read this, let me say that although uh, the difference between Old Norse and modern Icelandic is is truly minimal, I don't think anybody can claim to know two languages when they uh, can say that they, they know both of them. Um, they are very minimal on uh, sort of orthographic level and on the uh, grammatical level. Uh, lexically, uh, I think that you just need a different vocabulary for reading uh, medieval sagas of, of feuds and revenge than you do for reading a modern novel. Um, and therefore, uh, it's the, probably the biggest change has come about on the phonetic level. Um, I really got my, uh, my, my PhD in, in this language uh, more than in anything else. I wrote my doctoral dissertation on uh, mythological and religious dream symbolism in precisely this kind of text, the, the Old Norse sagas. And so in a certain sense, I know this language really well, better than, than others, but um, back when I learned it, I really didn't pay much attention to the uh, phonetics of it because 
a it's it's a dead language and I sort of got my own model of, of what it sounds like in my head I do recall uh, reading arguments saying that uh, phonetically it had changed a lot more than it had changed on those other levels uh, grammatically or orthographically or, or lexically um, and logic would tell us that that now we can think back and look at any language uh, 50 60 years ago and think of how the intonation and rhythm and patterns of it have uh, have changed uh, drastically it's probably very much the case here uh, at any rate I do not offer this as a, uh, a a good example of how you should read Old Norse. Probably the wisest thing to do would be to uh, learn modern Icelandic and just read it like that uh, to get a, a, a somewhat more comprehensible thing. But I would read this uh, beginning here where we left off uh, before something like this. Hon var kvenna vænst og skurungur mikkel. She was, hon, she, var, was, kvenna, a woman, vænst, most beautiful, og and skurungur, a uh, noble, noble-minded, noble-typed, mikkel, great, so a, a noble and great woman. Hennar fek ulver. Hennar, uh, her, uh, fek, uh, got or took, or married really, ulver, so ulver married her. For han thou ok til buasina. Uh, for went han he thou then ok and til uh, to bua his uh, his farm his estate uh, sina his. Uh, so he, then he went to his estate. Ulver var maver oiveger baivi at lundem ok loisum aurum. Ulver uh, var was mother a man oiveger uh, wealthy baivi both at uh, in or with lundem in lands og and loisum loose aurum uh, wealth so uh, cattle basically Ulver was uh, wealthy both in terms of his lands and his chattel. Ha, uh, han tog lendmanser yet, svausim haft hivd lang fevgar hans, og gervist mother riker. Han, he, tog, took, lens, uh, lensmanser yet, uh, uh, sort of a, a noble title, equivalent of a baron perhaps, uh, 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 the, 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 the landman's right from, from the king. Svau, so, sim, as, haft, had, hivd, had, Lang fevgar, long ancestors. So his 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 ancestors way back. Hans, ok and gervist made himself mother, a man, riker, uh, powerful. He took uh, uh, he took a, a nobleman's rights just as his uh, ancestors had done before him and made himself a very powerful man. Svau er sagt at ulver var busus lumader mikkel. Svau, so, er, is, sagt, said, at, that, ulver, uh, var, was, bu, uh, the, the farm, the estate, syslu, um, business affairs, mother, man, mikkel, great. It is said that he was a, a very great uh, estate manager. Var that sider hans at risa up our deges o ganga thou um susler manna eda thar er smither vauru o xiao uver fienat sin o akra in stundum var han autali vid min thou er rauda hans thurftu. Um, it, uh, I'm running out of time. I want to show you some books. Um, it was his custom to rise up early in the day and go about uh, where people were doing their business or where the smiths were working and uh, to look over his, uh, his, his cows and his fields. And uh, sometimes he was speaking with people where they needed his, uh, his affairs because he was very wise. If you want to learn Old Norse, you can learn modern Icelandic, really. Uh, but here's a special book for Old Icelandic. Uh, everything is pretty much published by Oxford University Press. The classic work uh, is uh, Gordon's Introduction to Old Norse, which is a, a reader with glossary and grammar. You need a dictionary. The best dictionary the, for common purposes is the Concise Dictionary of Old Icelandic by Zoega. But the uh, classic great dictionary that you need for doing serious research is uh, Kliesby, Vigfusen, and Balfell's uh, Icelandic Dictionary. I can't get it under the camera here. Uh, philological product of the 19th century. And uh, then you'll read stuff like this, the Times Kringle. You need to get your material from uh, the Icelandic forms. Ah, here we go. You can see it now. Old Norse, an introductory overview. 